What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Out here still plugging away doing some trapping on some varmints around the place. Uh, we've got a few in this video that I think is going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed or if you're one of my new subscribers, I want to thank you for that. Uh, also thanks for hitting that thumbs up icon. Uh, helps out the channel a lot and I've seen a lot of growth lately so I just wanted to plug that right there at the beginning. Uh, for everybody that's been watching me go through this uh, early portion of uh, like raccoon possum and skunk season trapping this year so without any more talking uh, let's get right into the video first check of the morning and got this little guy kind of looks like something may have came up and wooled him over in the night looks like he's all been all wet around that back leg that's all uh, weird and matted around his lit hair there so I'm gonna get him out of there and we'll move on looks like he ate quite a bit of the bait before he got caught though so he had one last good midnight snack somebody got wise here knocked it over didn't set off the trap and there's not one little bit of food and I can't remember if I showed it yesterday, but I accidentally spilled quite a bit right there yesterday, and it's all gone. So, something coming through here, so we'll have to get this reset and get it caught. Apparently, we may be dealing with what I'm assuming is an experienced coon, because there's number two that's set over on its side. No cat food at all, and not set off. Uh, one more to check and we'll go see what the story is there and interestingly enough this one probably 40 yards away still got food on the ground still got food in the trap so guess we'll have all these remade and see what we have tomorrow that is interesting Switch those traps around and got another little guy here. Look at him. I wonder if I've just about picked every one out of a litter because they've all been about this size. They've all traveled through the same area and I wonder if they've just been used to it and that's why I've slowly but surely picked them all off. Uh, I think this is probably about the third or fourth one at least on this trap alone that I've caught so gonna get him out of there get it reset see if we can maybe have another one in here tomorrow and then I'll go on and check the rest double cuffed there on that guy Got both hands in the cookie jar. So it makes me wonder if you've been the one that's been robbing me lately. Look at you. Kind of interesting colored little coon. Kind of a lighter color. And even with both hands caught, you dug up quite a little pile of moss there. So you're a little bigger too. Maybe you're a little wiser in the ways of the world. But nonetheless, going to get you out of there. And we'll be back out here tomorrow. Got up a little earlier and out here this morning. And we're going to start off today with another little possum. Look at that guy. Wrap that chain up pretty good there. A wood duck just landed on the pond. Let me see if I can zoom it in. That little wood duck out there. Huh. Did not expect that this morning. Look 
Let him go. But, gonna get this possum taken care of. Maybe watch that wood duck a little bit. And we'll check out some more traps. Just like I said earlier in the video, still picking up these little bitty coons, which is all right. Saves me from getting them later and trapping season. Sure that they're out looking for food like anything else, and that's why we're picking these guys up. All the bigger coons are probably taking up some of the better forage right now, getting ready for winter, uh, so they can kind of fatten up. These little guys, they're just out and about trying to find something for themselves. So, I guess we're gonna go ahead. And get him out of there and reset to get a few more. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, it's pretty chilly this morning. It's supposed to keep uh, into the 40s through the nights, kind of the coming week. So, I expect a lot more coons to be out and about and trying to find them something to eat. So, we'll probably pick up a few more. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and end it there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.